It's that time of year. Many cruisers want to bring a touch of holiday cheer to their boats when you can't find or fit an evergreen tree. How do you make your boat festive? Hi there. I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, we'll share some great ideas from cruiser and circumnavigator Amy Alton for making affordable and eco-friendly decorations that will help your boat gain a real feeling of the holidays. But first, let's talk about our sponsor. Today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by CLR Marine, suppliers of the Extend Your Step Boarding Ladder Extension. Is your boat ladder just too short to be comfortable and easily able to get out of the water? Extend Your Step fits right into your existing boarding ladder, offering a stable and easy way to get a longer ladder without a high price. Find the Extend Your Step and tons of other fabulous products at clrmarine.com. Boat Galley Podcast listeners get a special 15% discount on the Extend Your Step through December 31st, 2023 with the coupon code BOATGALLEY2023. CLR Marine, where your boat is their business. So let's talk about holiday decorations. We're getting to that time of the year when many of us yearn to recreate happy holiday memories. But in the limited space of a boat, just what can you do to create a festive atmosphere? Circumnavigator Amy Alton had some great ideas for holiday decorations that don't harm the environment and take up very little space. So let's just talk about what she says. She says, I cringe to think about the amount of trash generated around the holidays. But at the same time, I don't want to stuff our boat with items we only use one month out of the year. Instead, I found ways to decorate our boat while only storing a small bag of supplies. I dig out these items, make a trip to the grocery store and florist, and wham, the boat is ready to go for the holidays. Most of the items are natural products that'll decompose, unlike plastics that'll just sit forever in the landfill. Okay, hang on. First one is fairy lights. Okay, in the cockpit or anywhere around your boat, you can use the fairy lights or the little uh, string lights. Amazon sells the string lights. Lucy makes a, a really nice solar powered one, but you can put them on support posts, strung up from the ceiling. Anywhere in your cockpit or inside your boat, the lights draw the eye in a crowded anchorage and can give your cockpit a party atmosphere when lit up at night. Well, the next thing is fabrics and ribbons. Cotton tablecloth in a festive pattern that shows off the season can really add a pop of color. And ribbon, in addition to being useful for many of the projects, can be wound around stainless steel or made just into bows. Okay, maybe you can't have a full Christmas tree on the boat. You can buy a small potted evergreen and make that the Christmas tree. In Cape Town, South Africa, Amy said she was able to find a small tree and put it into their main salon. Now, sure, it helped they were spending holidays in a marina. But to be honest, I've actually seen somebody that put a fake tree at the top of their mast. Managed to haul it up there, haul themselves up there, and wire it on. Okay, the other thing Amy suggests is garland. You might be able to wedge it into the headliner of the boat. You may have other winter themed plants like poinsettias or Christmas cactus. After the holidays, the plants can be continued to be used, given away, donated. Florists and supermarkets carry a lot of holiday themed cut flowers. She's, Amy says she has a Maji base and it stores flat. It's really stable when in use. I haven't seen that, so I don't know exactly what it is, but I would definitely be taking a look. Another thing that you can do is make some salt dough ornaments. Basically, look online. You'll find the um, recipe all over the place. But it's flour, salt, water, and spices. And you mix it up real well. It's it's thick. It's, it's like Play-Doh or something. You roll it out, cut it with some cookie cutters. Um, stars work well. Whatever you want to do, and bake it. They can actually, if you pack them well, when you pack them away, they will last for several years. 
Another simple tree for those celebrating Christmas is a ribbon tree. All you need is a little stick, tie some ribbons around it, just tie strips, and then you trim the ribbon into a tree shape, you know, the triangle. Using a variety of green ribbons is, is one of the possibilities. Using reds are also pretty. You can also use like white with some glitter on it, all sorts of things. Now, you may find some things if you're in a cold temperature, climate, of course, things like pine cones, holly, pine needles, those can easily be grabbed up if you're in that type of an area and put around for the winter season. Um, origami and paper crafts can also make some nice things. Stars are easy to make. They can be strung together with ribbon, make a garland to put around. You can get any sort of red and green striped craft paper or any other colors that you really like. You can also make Star of David ornaments out of patterned uh, paper. Whatever you want, you'll find some directions for them anywhere online. Pomander balls are also good. Basically, you're just going to stick some whole cloves into, say, an orange or possibly an apple. Add a little bit of extra clove orange oil to refresh the scent. Just use some essential oils around on the boat. A little bit of cinnamon or clove will definitely bring the smell of Christmas. Make it seem like you're making all those wonderful Christmas cookies that uh, maybe it's a little too hot to spend all day baking. Anyways, have happy holidays, whatever you're celebrating and however you decorate your boat. Until next time, this is Carolyn for the Boat Galley Podcast, where we hope to make your boat life better. Please tell your friends about us and be sure to subscribe so that you never miss an episode.